Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to a Fallout 4 Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the beta version of the Creation Kit. So in the future, I may well have to do an updated video for the installation of the full version because I imagine it is going to change. But for now, the beta version is fairly simple to install and that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have yourself a Bethesda.net account. If you already have one, that's great. If not, then you're going to want to go ahead and go to the Bethesda.net website and hit the Join Now button, get to this web page and sign yourself up. They don't want too many details, so it's a pretty quick and simple process. Then what you'll do after you've done that is go ahead to the Creation Kit Wiki where we've had a lot of information provided on there to how to work the Skyrim Creation Kit in the past and they have done the same for Fallout 4. And for now for the beta this is where you're going to need to head if you want to go ahead and install the kit. So we'll click on Fallout 4, give that a moment and you'll be brought to the main page here and as you'll see it says install the Creation Kit Fallout 4 and you just hit the link here for Bethesda.net Launcher, click on that. That'll download, shouldn't take too long, at least for me anyway. It's only 12 meg. So that's done, double click on that, hit run. And then just follow through the steps, install it wherever you like, except the uh, terms and conditions that you never read. Continue on, I'll leave it on my C drive, that's fine for me. Lead it through, I don't need a desktop icon. Hit next, install. Again, shouldn't take long at all. Let it launch the Bethesda.net launcher straight away. So hit finish. That'll do some downloading and first time setup things. Shouldn't take too long at all. Really simple. As you can see at the moment, this is uh, in alpha version as well. So don't be too surprised if things don't work too great. And that should load up any second. You get this wonderful intro that you get to go through every single time you load it. And so that's out of the way. You'll need to go ahead and sign into your account. So for me, darkfox127. And I'm not sure about everyone else, but right now you kind of have to keep doing this every single time. However, that's only when you come into the launcher. Once you've got the creation kit installed, you won't need to keep doing this. You won't actually need to launch this launcher at all. You'll just have a shortcut on your desktop and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Signed in successfully. First page you'll get, let's just maximize that, is creation kit Fallout 4. And you'll see here, you can just click install. Get a load of product information, do its thing. You'll get another load of terms and conditions that you never read. Accept those, hit accept. And you can go ahead and navigate to wherever you want to install it. For me, it's automatically gone to the Fallout 4 folder, which is kind of useful. It's gone straight to my Steam apps, which is actually on my G drive for where my games are stored. And it should do the same for you, but you can of course install this wherever you like. That's perfect for me. So. You can also tick whether you want a desktop shortcut start menu. I don't want either of those. I'll set that up myself afterwards. And I'm going to click install. As you'll see, it just says downloading files and it'll be away. So we'll just let that do that. And there we go. As you can see, it's gone ahead, popped up in the corner and said that it's installed. It says it's ready to play. And we'll go ahead, click play. Give that a moment and it loads up. Looks very similar to the creation kit for Skyrim. Give that a few seconds. And what you'll get here is script source extraction. Just click yes, let it do that. That's obviously going to be very useful if you want to be able to look at scripts and such. And that's now going to sit here for a fair period of time. And it's just going to extract all the scripts out of the raw file that it's created. This is useful, like I say, if you want to go ahead and look at all the scripts, edit certain scripts and do all sorts of scripty kind of things. Whether you're looking at going into scripting or not, I'd just let it do this anyway. So we're just going to wait a while and let it do its thing. Okay, so for me that has taken just a few minutes and once it's done, it should load up the kit. Now for me, I've already had this installed before and actually uninstalled it just to put it back on and show you guys how to do it. But it'll probably bunch all the windows together randomly in the middle and different sizes. But as you can see, you can go ahead, Grab the windows, place them where you want, 
and resize them to exactly how you like. However, what I have experienced on Windows 10 at least, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same for any other operating systems like 7 and such, it tends to like to move the windows around every time you load, just usually by a few pixels or such. So that's actually a bug that I've experienced in the Scrum Creation Kit as well, and I don't expect it to get fixed. It's a little irritating, but for those of you that don't really care about everything being sort of to every pixel, uh, it shouldn't really be a problem. But yeah, what I'm probably going to do is some tutorials on just the basics of the kit and not get too in-depth just yet until we've got a full release. But as you can see, yeah, it's got a few differences already from the Skyrim Creation Kit. But that's how you get it installed and they should be good to go. So if we do the usual and go to open up our data, you can see there's various mods here that I've got installed and a couple of even my own test mods and such. And you've got the Fallout 4 Master File, so you would just double click that hit OK, let it load up and you are good to go. But I'm not going to show you that in this video. This was simply the installation process. So you can hopefully get to modding and play around with things. And that's it for our first Fallout 4 Creation Kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. I will be looking at making some more tutorials for the Fallout 4 Creation Kit but probably when it's actually in a full release and not in the beta because I know that a lot of things are going to be frustrating, broken and a lot of the information about maybe getting around certain things probably won't be relevant in the future then if they do make a full release and things are fixed. So it's kind of pointless going over little issues and that while I'm making videos. So I'm just going to wait for a full release to do a lot of in-depth tutorials. But some other basic stuff like the user interface and such, you can probably expect me to do some of those. So please go ahead and check out the rest of my work on my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk. You can, of course, check me out on my social media, Facebook, where I post most of my stuff. And you can even follow my Steam group if you want to catch things like my Twitch stream live, if that's something that you're interested in. And, of course, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.